Hello everyone, it's Living the Good Life and I've been to a state sale so I wanted to show you what I found. So everything that you're seeing came from a single estate sale with the exception of the landscape. So this was kind of at a semi-private estate sale and one room was completely dedicated to these oil paintings and I dug through until I found one and it was five dollars. So I thought that was kind of neat. Um, and then we have all of this, and I forgot to mention, I had left and my friend told me, hey, there were stamps in there. And so after that time that I got all the stamps at the estate sale, and it actually, I got more stamps than I had paid for everything that I bought. So, and I've started using them and they're all good. So, you know, I've paid bills and nothing's come back. So uh, I've got these, I just have to do math every time I put these on there to make sure I've got the right postage. So they're 37 and 44 cent stamps and I paid three dollars and there's fifty dollars worth of stamps. That is good. Uh, here's the rest of the items that were worth twenty four dollars and seventy five cents. Um, I got this Stangle ashtray for fifty cents and I did look up this one and it, they're selling for about fifteen dollars online so that was a very very good deal. I also um, uh, the lady was showing us through the house and this was interesting because um, I saw this advertised the times were kind of ambiguous and I didn't know when it actually started so I contacted her and she and she'd say oh it starts tomorrow I said great we'll be there first thing we show up and it turns out that the lady was confused about what day it started and it started on Wednesday and the day was Tuesday so we she let us go ahead and shop um, since she, she had already confirmed with us, which was very nice of her, and uh, we were the only two people there. We were the first people there, so we got first pick, and that's why I have such great stuff. Um, I, I filled this basket with jewelry, and it was five dollars. So I'm going to go ahead and cover the basket with you later, okay? Um, so here we go. I found two sterling items. Uh, this, of all places, was in the garage no no it was in the office well, my, my mind is fine and it says sterling right there in that little circle and come on honey stand up uh, I'm gonna go ahead and weigh it for you it weighs 78 grams so that is just like two and a half ounces this turns out to be silver plate I believe because it says made in the USA and then 700 and I've never heard of 700 silver it's really heavy like silver plate so if y'all know anything let me know this uh, for, with this and that silver plate creamer was five dollars so five and five so that was that one is 89 almost 90 so almost three ounces then I found these in the dining room it's pretty little um, either jam or mustard pot with a little sterling uh, ferrule around the top there and that was um, five dollars for the pair because there's this one as well and this was uh, really neat look at the spoon really pretty so five dollars for that and I started here some of the jewelry this is a set by listener little leaf and look at that and that pretty this is tangled up I should have tried to get it untangled and here is like a set that has acorns okay I'm sorry it's such a mess there I should have spent some time undoing it then I got all of these um, Native American pots that are all signed two for a dollar which was amazing this one I'm going to show it to you. I haven't been able to decode all these yet. I'll be doing research. If I find that one of these is a big home run, I'll share it with you later. We have this one. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. Name on that one. This one says Cindy Lee. It's really easy to read. Navajo. That's good. This one is, I did a little research on this one, but I wasn't able to find. It says Richard, uh, Robert Cleto, something, Tall Mountain. And I found some of his pots, but it's one of those auction sites that wants you to, you know, pay to be a part of, not quite worth point, but something like it. 
And here is one that's a little different, something New Mexico. Oh, wait a minute, look at this for a minute. Like Corrine, Louis, Alma, New Mexico, 2001. So they're not, they're not old necessarily, but they are fun. <laughs> Here's some of the jewelry. Yeah, these are um, abalone inset earrings. Um, just a, I tested this, it's not gold. Neither is that or that. This is a pretty little uh, vintage bracelet with a little dangle here. These are not sterling. Here's a little leaf earring that I may just wear. Here is a Elgin pocket watch. And I hate, hate to try to open anything up because I'm horrible at it. Here's some Masonic pins. They're not gold. Sarah Coventry pin. A mosaic pin. Here are two Christmas tree pins. I am going to, um, if my friend has her holiday sale again, I may stick a whole bunch of holiday pins in there and see if I can sell them. These are not gold. I tested them, but they sure are pretty. If my ears don't react badly to them, I will wear those. Here's a sterling silver thimble. Here was a Sarah Coventry set in its old 1960s, 70s boxes. Look how pretty that pin is. And um, I didn't realize, but it had the earrings to match in there. So that was neat. Another little bit more of a vintage pin. These are not sterling. That's just a single earring. And this is not sterling either, although it was very bendy. I was hopeful. And then this, I saw this, it was just a box. It was in a box, there were boxes everywhere. They were still setting up. Um, I opened it up and all I saw was the back of the watch and I thought, I'll throw it in. You know, it looks pretty. Um, I love the box. And it turned out that this has a 14 karat gold um, band and it would be 14 karat gold. Sorry, my hand is going numb holding the phone. Uh, let's see if I can see it. Right here, it says 14 karat. Oh, come on. Wait a minute. Look at this for a minute. Yeah, that's where it says it. But it's very, I, I've got to get it in the right light. Can y'all see it now? 14 karat. So that was part of my $5 finds. And it is broken, as you can see. That does not attach over here. But I just thought it was too neat. Uh, too, too neat. And so that is a huge amount of gold. I, um, I, when I do my follow-up video with all the stuff in the wicker basket, I'll give you a, a total on how much I think I got in, in gold. So uh, you all take care. If you have anything to share with me, I'd love to learn from you. And um, if you have any uh, comments, love to hear from people and, and really would enjoy your subscription. Take care. Bye-bye.